Welcome to Whistler. My name is Tracy Collingridge. I'm a realtor with Sutton West Coast Realty, and this is my backyard. My name is Angie Nones and I'm a mortgage broker in Vancouver and I currently live there and I'm looking at purchasing in Whistler for a second property. Located on the spectacular coast mountains of BC and just two hours north of Vancouver, Whistler is Canada's best known ski and snowboard destination. There's actually so much more to Whistler than just skiing. It's a year-round destination. Whether you like the mountains, the lakes, the golf courses, shopping, dining, or simply just watching people, Whistler has something for absolutely everyone. With an average snowfall of almost 470 inches, snow lovers from around the world come to play on Whistler's two majestic mountains, Blackcomb Mountain and Whistler Mountain. With an average temperature of minus five degrees in the winter, Whistler is a very cool place for snow junkies. But things heat up when it comes to the real estate market. There are 10,000 permanent residents in Whistler and a few thousand more live here part-time. Many of Whistler's buyers come from the Lower Mainland, but it's also an international market with home buyers from around the world. Like our buyer, people who purchase in Whistler are looking for a second home in close proximity to Vancouver. Because I'm a mortgage broker in Vancouver and, and my client base is all over the place, I don't think it's with technology and transportation. It's easy to work an hour and a half out of where you live. So I think Whistler will just be an alternative destination, not just a weekend destination. When I look at Whistler and what I want in, a, in an alternative destination, I do look at the things that I can do outside, like biking and running and the activities that I can do on the water. And so I'm currently training to do an Ironman, so I'm looking at Whistler as part of my training, training ground for that as well. I have a cat and he will never come to Whistler. <laughs> he would be a terrible traveler. He can stay at home. He's not the nicest cat either. <laughs> so the really cool thing about Whistler is anyone can own here. You can have a fabulous ski and ski out home, the base of um, Whistler Mountain for $50,000 and that would get you one quarter of a one bedroom ski in ski out property. Or you can spend $15 million or more and also have a pretty fabulous property and there's lots to choose from in between. The things that are important to me are I would definitely love to have a two bedroom place. I'm quite the entertainer so it would be great if it had some sort of gourmet kitchen or somewhere um, sort of a great room concept so not so closed in, I'd, I'd rather it be you know, really open. Uh, hopefully a garage or a secured underground parking. I have a daughter who's 25 who I know is going to love coming up here with her girlfriend. So, I, so in a secure building would be really optimum for me. And um, I'd like something that looks a little bit you know, updated and, and a little bit you know, kind of more that newish concept as opposed to something that's been dated. I'm sure that uh, my daughter would prefer me to be closer to the left, and I, she may have a slight say in that, but it's not going to be my defining like, reason why I'm going to be purchasing there. So I'm going to show Angie three properties. They're all quite different. Angie likes nice things, so I am only going to show her um, some homes that are either fully renovated or nice, nicely uh, furnished. So when I look at budget, of course, the lower the better, but if it has everything I need and if I absolutely fall in love, then I think 900,000 would be the upper level of where I'd like to go. This week, we're in Whistler. Our buyer Angie is looking for a home away from home with two bedrooms, an open kitchen area for entertaining, secured parking, and a modern interior all for under 900000 Most people who buy in or visit Whistler love the outdoors, especially the mountains. Before heading indoors, let's head for the hills with some insider's tips on Whistler. In terms of lift tickets, the Edge Card is the best bang for your buck. They're for Canadian residents and Washington State residents. Um, and they come in groups of one, three, five, or 10. And really they're just packaged together to give you the best discount. 
instead of going to the window where you are paying premium. So just go ahead, book online in advance at whistleblackhome.com and get your edge card. Whistler Black Home is the biggest ski resort in North America, which can get a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to navigate the mountains. So these guys right here, th this is not a person, but um, usually the mountain guides, they're standing right here and they actually provide a free service. They take you up the mountain, they show you the best runs to go on for your level um, and basically just get you acquainted with the mountain and get you, get you comfortable so you can go out on your own. So avoiding lift lineups. Right now, it's not very busy at all. And the reason is, is because it's during the week. The weekdays are a really great time to come. There's fewer tourists around, um, fewer people in general, they're all working. So right now is a great time to come. Um, if you're gonna come up on the weekends, make sure you're here early in the morning. Uh, a lot of people tend to sleep in and are a little bit later waking up. So uh, be here early and therefore you get the first chair up and the best snow. So to get up the mountain, we use gondolas or chairlifts, but to get around Whistler Village and around town, uh, there's a few different options. There's two taxi services. Uh, there's also a public transportation system. Their buses run in the early morning, afternoon, evening, overnight. Uh, it's not uncommon to see people biking around town, even in the snow, um, as well as walking. So depending on what you want and how you want to get around town, we have everything available for you. So Whistler Black Home consistently gets snow all the way from November through until May. We get over 11 meters of snow on average per year, which is quite a bit. Uh, but January, February, March are really key times in terms of snow. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but March is actually our snowiest month on record, and which can be surprising since it's towards the end of the season. Um, but that sets April up for some really good snowpack. So whether you're here for a quick visit or wanting to stay long term, you got to get outside and enjoy it. We're back from the slopes and ready to see our first home. We start our search in the heart of Whistler at a unique two bedroom condo. Priced a little over Angie's budget, this condo is listed for $950,000. There you go. This is 1136 square feet. I know you like your wine, so you've got a nice oh, wine, wine fridge. fridge. Awesome. Sub Zero fridge. This is actually the only gas stove in this whole building. Oh wow. So and I know you like to cook. Love to cook. Yeah. Lots of cupboard space, Trace. Mm-hmm. Look at all the space there. Your price includes everything that you see here. So, so it all is, different. You don't have to buy anything, dishes, everything. So this home's pretty much fully automated. Number of different choices for your lighting detail. You've got um, great fireplace. That's an awesome fireplace. And this feature, I'm pretty sure you'll like this one. Oh, nice. Well, that makes putting up the blinds easy. You get to see the gorgeous view, Rainbow Mountain. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. And this is the balcony, which is a oh, really it's good nice size. And big. I didn't think that they'd have such a nice big patio. And look, the blue tile. Oh, it even matches. Continues. They did do the, a great job of renovating. Very nice. So this is the second bedroom, the guest bedroom. Oh yeah, that's your nice daughter's size. bedroom. And um, these are all built-ins. Oh, good amount of space. And a blue bathroom. Wow, this is a big bathroom. Actually, this is quite a tiny little sink, isn't it? Okay, and here's the master. Oh, this is nice and big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful oh, I like views. the desks there already, waiting for me. And a beautiful spa-like bathroom with a steam shower. Oh my, how fancy is that? And all the floors um, are radiant, so nice warm floors for your feet. I think this is a gorgeous, love this sink. Oh, wow, that's great. Didn't expect there to be a steam room. This building has a swimming pool a fitness center, um, a hot tub, and there's a full-time concierge. Oh wow, that's and awesome. And the ski runs right out the back door. The underground has a, um, a key to access, so I like that, as well as the fact that there is a concierge in this building. It definitely brings a level of comfort to me, safety-wise, and if my daughter's up here with her friends, I always feel good about the fact that someone else is keeping an eye on them. You know, there's no doubt that the person enjoys the color blue, and I quite like blue, but I would probably look at doing some decorating around that. 
I like the fact that I wouldn't have to worry about going out shopping for furniture and having to do all the decorating. Most uh, condos that are uh, second homes for people in Whistler, the homeowners generally sell them fully furnished and outfitted because it's that or they're going to have to have a garage sale and try and sell everything. So it's convenient for the seller, but it's also convenient for the buyer. We don't know if this condo blew Angie away, but it's still worth looking into the structure of the building and its various updates. Local home inspector, John Maxim, takes a look. This is a uh, concrete uh, building, which is in your good, better, best, falls right under your best quality of construction. It's gonna last the longest, it's gonna be low maintenance. Um, so right there in terms of, we're not concerned about the price of the property as a home inspector, but we do wanna look at kind of what sort of value uh, in the construction. The other thing is particularly nice in this building is even though the uh, it was constructed about 23 years ago in 1990, uh, this home does feature thermally broken aluminum frame windows. Um, the code at the time didn't require them, not until sort of the mid 90s. So what's any owner of this particular unit isn't going to have to worry about uh, upgrading the windows anytime soon. They're going to be relatively um, efficient as is, and they should get a good uh, service life out of them. Welcome back to Whistler, where our buyer is on the hunt for a second home away from home. The next home in our search is located in Creekside, about a six minute drive from Whistler Village in the main ski lifts. Homes in this area are much less expensive than the ones right on the mountain. This two bedroom townhouse is listed at just under $700,000. There you go, so we've got a this is um, owner's locker, so it's locked. Store your skis, your boots. This property also has the opportunity if she wants to rent it out on a nightly or short-term basis, so she can also offset the cost of ownership in this property as well. And in here we've got some laundry. Oh, nice. Yeah. And this is a little bit more of a Whistler look compared to the last one we looked at. Oh, that's nice. So. so this home isn't fully renovated like the last one. This is all original. However, it's in awesome shape. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like all the wood. Mm -hmm. It's very Whistler. Heated, um, all the bathrooms or all the tile is all uh, radiant heat. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, good sized bathroom. Jacuzzi tub. Perfect. So this is the main bath, and you've got um, cheater access. Oh, right to that first bedroom. Okay. And then you've got uh, closet, but another owner's Oh, that's locker. handy. So you can put your I like skis, that. I guess, in there, probably easier. And what's in this closet? A hot water tank. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> and there you go. What do you think your kitchen is at? Oh, it's nice. It's nice and big. I like all the workspace. You could upgrade the, uh, if you wanted uh, gas cooking. Oh, you can put there a gas, gas range in to here? this uh, complex. So oh, you I could like upgrade that. Idea. that. Um, other than that, again, this is all original, but it's an excellent shape. Um, then the price also is going to reflect it. It's a big difference from the last, the last property we looked at. This is a little more rustic. I sort of like this feel for Whistler as opposed to the other ones, a little bit it has that real modern feel to it, which is nice, but I like the rustic appeal of this one. Yeah, it's very Whistler. Now we've got a nice gas fireplace in the living room. Lots of seating space too. <laughs> it has a barbecue, that's nice. So there's your gondola, your ski run. Oh, wow. And you would just ski to over here, walk across the street in your home. Wow. This is a beautiful location. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, I didn't even know it existed. And I'm getting cold. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. This is homey. You can see yourself here. I can see myself sitting here. Yeah. Actually, it's a pretty comfortable on. chair. This is really nice. And what other amenities does this one have? Like the other one had the swimming pool and the hot tub and the gym. What about this one? So this one actually has a really nice hot tub. You have less amenities, but then your monthly fees are about half. Oh, wow. So compared to the other one. I really love this one. I love the feel of it. I love how homey it feels. I love that whole authentic Whistler rustic feel. People, when they come to Whistler, they really are looking for more of a Whistler feel, cabin type property. And you can't beat that view. I mean, wow, it's pretty spectacular. I like the fact that I could probably 
do a little bit of updating to the kitchen and maybe making the area a little bit more me. I think with the money that I wouldn't be spending on the other place, I could add my own touch to this place. It makes sense to turn down the heat in your vacation home when you're not there. But how low should you go? Local inspector, John Maxson, has some advice. Uh, one of the things that sometimes with a vacation home is people think that they should turn their thermostat way down to save on energy. And the challenge is with our temperatures here, particularly in February when we get a cold snap, um, if, if the house isn't warm enough, the temperature inside the home can drop down to the point where uh, pipes will freeze. Often with my clients, I suggest 15 degrees or 18 degrees is probably as low as they want to turn it. So here we can see the hot water tank for the home. It's a uh, standard electric uh, hot water tank. Uh, given that this tank is, is now about 12 years old, probably a good idea to think about replacing it uh, sooner rather than later. It's uh, always easier to do, uh, do it when it's convenient for you rather than waiting for it to happen during uh, Christmas Eve dinner. There are various options for replacing your hot water tank, including some that can save you energy and money in the long run. Learn how much you can save by visiting an online energy calculator, like this one on the Fortis BC website. Last up is an entirely updated three-bedroom townhouse, also in Creekside. And, of the three we've seen, it's the furthest from the ski hills. Listed at $8.99, it falls nicely within Angie's budget. And here's the entrance, obviously. That's nice. Nice big, um, actually, I've got built-in ski racks. Beautiful here. closets. Oh, nice and big. Oh, wow. And you'll notice there's uh, a number of levels in this home. And this has been renovated. This is down to the studs, full renovation, about a $200,000 renovation. Wow. It's beautiful. Gourmet kitchen. I like the fact that the fridge is hidden away. That's a nice feature, that it's not right out in the open. It doesn't take up any outside space. So I don't know if you remember, however many years ago, the big windstorm that blew down a bunch of the trees in Stanley Park. Right, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, the stairs, stringers, and the treads are wood from oh, Stanley wow. Park. Blew oh, down that's wood. interesting. It's really nice. I like the minimalist sort of look to this. Yeah, it's clean, contemporary, yet the wood warms it up, I think. The view's beautiful again. Do you want to go take a look at the balcony? It's a nice size deck again. Uh-huh. Now we'll go up and look at the bedrooms. And the master bedroom. The idea with the design, with all the levels, is you get a vault in every room. Right. And you have a pretty spectacular view from this uh, uh, room and I love the fact that you've got floor to ceiling uh, windows. Yeah, it makes it really really spacious. I like all the closet work too. There's lots of space. Well, they're nice um, well-constructed doors. Oh, and this one has its own bathroom. Nicely done. This is a really pretty countertop. Yeah, that's really nicely pointed. Everything's just so precise. The furniture is not included in the purchase price. However, uh, you could negotiate on that. See the uh, skylight? And the second bedroom. Oh, this one's nice. Again, vault. So you don't have to fight over the vaulted bedroom. You, everyone gets one. And the last floor and third bedroom. This one's nice. It's a nice room for uh, when your daughter comes. Nice size nice closets nice. too, all of them. The hill light, oh, I did everything. Oh yeah. This home is the farthest from skiing of the three that we looked at. However, it's literally a five minute walk to skiing. And if you wanted to drive from one end of Whistler, to the very farthest end of Whistler, it's about 15 minutes. So really, it doesn't anywhere you are in Whistler, you're you're close to everything. Uh, this house, I like it. Uh, it's much larger than the other two that I've seen, so that's a definite bonus. Uh, I think for me, when I look at 
Having to go up all the stairs, it's probably not conducive to my lifestyle. I'm probably more of a one level person. And I think generally if it's just me here or just one or two people, I would probably get tired of all the stairs. Overall, not sure if she was a huge fan of uh, having to walk up all the stairs, although being this super athlete that she is, I thought maybe it might be good for her to work out. This modern townhouse has tons of space for Angie to entertain. Local inspector, John Maxson, has some tips for taking care of tipsy house guests. In this case, we can see that the, there's no, ha no hand railing on the uh, set of stairs leading down to the living room area. And so it's not, a, it's not wrong per se, it's just you may decide that you would like to have a hand railing in your home for safety. So we normally say it's your, the young kids, the old folks, and your drunken party guests that are your biggest concern and uh, mitigate your risk appropriately. Most of the time, the, the main water shot off for the home is located in an inconvenient or awkward to access spot. So they can retrofit or install one of these valves and you can turn the valve on or off simply by pushing a button. So it allows you to turn the water off in your home while you're away, um, which helps reduce the consequence of any water leakage that might occur during the week or when you're away from your vacation home. Angie has looked at three great homes in snowy Whistler. Do any of them fit like a glove? So I'm curious, what, what was the one you liked the most or what, what's going through your head right now? What are you thinking? Yeah, well I definitely enjoyed all three of them. They would have all worked for sure. Um, I think that there's a definite advantage to not going to the top of my price range. And I think that having that really contemporary look on both of the, the first one we saw and the last one we saw, um, it's probably not my first pick. So I'm thinking the one up the bluffs is probably top of my list right now and I'd like to come back and show it to Sarah and see what she thinks and I think out of all three that would be my, my, my choice. All right, I was kind of thinking that would be the best one for you as well, especially since how being under your budget, if you did want to upgrade the kitchen or the appliances, put in the gas, you have money to do that. And that view was spectacular. That was my favorite view, for sure. Well, as far as your, your timing with looking at properties, um, again, um, you know, it's not a good time to buy. I think it's a great time to buy. I really do. Perfect. <laughs>